hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel it's been a few days that i have uploaded since my last video so in this video we're going to talk about ios 16.2 beta 2 update on my iphone 10r so as you can see this is an iphone 10r and in this video we're going to talk about this ios 16.2 beta 2 what are the new features and what are the bug fixes and how's the overall performance just after updating on this iPhone 10R. So as you can see from the screenshot, so it came in about 504.5 MB on my iPhone 10R. If you're having any other devices, the update size should be between you know 500 to 700 odd MB. So let's have a look at this you know update and let's talk about what's new, what are the new features. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings general and about section. If I tap on the iOS version, as you can see, the new build number is 20C5043E. So the previous build number also was ending with E and the current build number with iOS 16.2 beta 2 update, you know, the letter E is at the end. So it means that we are going to see a couple of more betas before we get to see the public release or the iOS 16.2 RC update. Now let's talk about the stuff I have you know uh, before updating i have taken a screenshot i got this update yesterday night so let's see whether i can find that as you can see before updating the storage was 26.83 gb and after updating if i take a look at the storage so sadly the storage is little bit decreased it is around 25 gb now and for other phones i've heard that there is a new modem firmware but for iphone 10r as you can see from the screenshot before updating the modem firmware was 5.01.00 and after updating still the modem firmware is 5.01.00 let me know if you have a different phone like iphone 11 12 or 13 and if you have received a modem firmware or not now before talking about what's new with this update i heard this that with ios 16.2 beta 2 apple has brought the you know 5g support for supported iphones in india so if you are staying in india and if you have a supported devices that means if you have an iphone 12 or the later iphones like iphone 13 14 then you should go to your mobile data and select the uh, you know 5g option if your network provider is supporting so so for that you can go to the mobile data and select you know 5g apart from the list that you get with you know 3g and 4g so let me know that if you have got that with this update now before i talk about the other changes so i would like to tell you that many of you comment on my videos that i'm still on ios 16.1 how did you get this ios 16.2 beta update so as you can see i'm under vpn and device management and there's a separate profile that is installed on my iphone 10r so if i click on it it's apple verified ios 16 beta software profile so unless and until you have this profile installed on your iphone you won't be able to receive this beta update so i I always say this initially on every video because so that uh, none of you get confused so that's what i wanted to highlight again here so now that out of the way let's talk about what's new so, so the first thing i notice if i click on software update and it just checks for the update as it does but as you can see you know before i talked about this with ios 16.2 beta 1 the font was you know a, a, a little bit on the bolder side but now it is back to normal now one other thing I noticed if you go to the settings with iOS 16.2 beta 1 we had the live activities and stuff and if you are using the Apple TV application and nevertheless if you just go to this TV application let me find that if I click on that and as you can see if I click on this live activities with iOS 16.2 beta 1 it was empty but as you can see with iOS 16.2 beta 2 now there are two options which says allow live activities and there's a check and also more frequent updates it says allowing more frequent updates lets you see more real-time information but it can drain your battery faster so these two options are available uh, within the live activities inside this Apple TV so if you're using live activities if you use Apple TV application for your daily streaming so then you can use this feature so apart from that there's improvement on this freeform application so freeform is a collaboration or the shared tool that you use uh, for your team members to discuss something or you know to innovate or you know to make a presentation maybe so Apple with this iOS 16.2 beta 2 they have improved this so earlier what was happening it was not syncing properly if I click on the boards uh, from here 
if i go back i have at least right now one board so what was happening it was not syncing properly but with this update apple has made improvement to this so hopefully this works better apart from this apple also made a lock screen customization so if i click on this customize and select lock screen if i select this three dots so right now there are two options show photo in library and depth effect so previously with iOS 16.2 beta 1 and with earlier iOS updates, it was just the depth effect option, but you now have the additional option which says show photo in libraries. That option is new that is present in the lock screen. I just wanted to highlight that. Apart from that, there are a few other changes here and there as well, but nothing major because these are beta updates and uh, the major thing with iOS 16.2, we got this freeform application. So that was there. If I talk about the battery health, because this is the you know initial day while I'm using iOS 16.2, I won't be able to give you a clear picture on the battery. But if I go to the battery health, since I this is not my primary device, as you can see, the battery health is still 88%, which is great after you know almost three years. So after updating, the battery health hasn't dropped. And if I talk about the battery life, as you can see from the battery graph, I hardly use it, but I'll try to use it and make a follow up performance and review video, you know, uh, during the weekend. So stay tuned for that. So with iOS 16.2 beta 2, these were the changes that I was able to notice. So one is your, you know, regarding the live activities and there is this lock screen customization. If I open this iOS 16.2 developers website and even you can open the same from the feedback application, as you can see, there are a couple of issues they have mentioned that they have fixed uh, some issues with iOS 16.2 beta 2 and also with iPad OS so when typing in Chinese selecting an option from the you know candidate bar is unresponsive so they have fixed that and there are still some issues with freeform application they're still working on that and the issues like storage manager and things like that are still present so you can actually go to developers.apple.com and select iOS 16.2 beta 2 to you know see all the changes that Apple has brought and all the bugs that they have fixed now many of you were complaining that you know even I have talked about this many of times because you know when you go to a particular application and when you try to go to the home screen there is a certain lag that is associated with it now i face this especially on my iphone 13 but probably with ios 16.2 beta 2 and when it comes to actually ios 16.2 public release hopefully apple will fix that and just fingers crossed that issue would be fixed because even with the newer iphones like iphone 14 and 14 pro that issue is still visible across the board now if i talk about the performance these are initial days i've just installed yesterday night so i don't have much idea about the performance that but with this iphone 10r the performance is actually not an issue it's an old iphone but you know general scrolling through the ui and opening and closing apps is actually fine if i talk about the geekbench score as you can see the single course score came in about 1116 and the multi-core score came in about 2699 now if i could show you the history with ios 16.2 beta 1 actually both single and multi score were little less but fortunately with ios 16.2 beta 2 both single core and multi score have been improved so that's a good sign right so the performance looks Looks good as of now but wait for the follow-up review of iOS 16.2 beta 2 wherein I will talk about the battery life and the performance more so with the help of this video I just wanted to let you know that I have received iOS 16.2 beta 2 update so if you have a an iPhone which is supporting iOS 16 and if you are already running beta series of update then definitely do update your iPhone to iOS 16.2 beta 2 it is released now but make sure that you have to have a ios 16 beta software profile so that's it for this video if you have liked this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because you know your one like and subscription motivates me a lot and it motivates me really to upload more content like this on youtube now with that being said i will see you on my next video Bye bye